Oh, I shot myself. <laughs> Shouldn't be playing with guns. No! Get away from me. Wrench. You reach down and touch the inscription marked wrench. Suddenly, a magical tune compels you to dance. Let's get out of here. I am clearly outclassed in wherever that place was. Well, that was the weirdest 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. I've ever experienced. <laughs> Nothing in the dresser. Could stuff some TNT in there. This leads me up and... Adam, Adam, Ant. Oh! So, their cellar leads to the... Oh, that's the mechanic shop. No wonder there's a centerfold down there. That makes sense. Well, let's check the other one of these real quick. Nothing in here either. That explains why there's all these machine parts and tools all over the place. So let's see what's over here to the left. Table. Another bed. There's beds all over the place around here, isn't there? This is a box of El Pollo Bandito. Chicken cutlets. They are frozen. Chicken bandits. Uh, there's probably just more. More raw chicken in those boxes. What the hell is this? What is that? What's going on here? Carrington! There is a cute little girl in a yellow dress. There's an ominous purple specter floating behind her, of which she seems unaware. Uh, hello. Oh, hey there. <laughs> hey there, little lady. My name's X. Cowington. <laughs> That's adorable. Uh, what do you do around here, Cowington? My was is my... Wait, I was my bayo. My bayo fail in... Whale! Wow. Well, I lost my bear. I lost my bear. My bear fell in. Fail. My bear fell in whale. Wow. Whale. Wow. I lost my bear. My bear's something. You put on your baby language translation cap and give it your best shot. All right. What, what is this? Bear fell in whale. Wow. She looks like she lost something. Uh. Where is your bear? Bell! My bell! What? Huh, Mr. Carrington looks confused. Where is your bear? Oh, fell. Bell fell down. Wow. Fell down where? The well? The well. Is your bell is your bear in the well? Well. Yeah, the well. Fell in well. Okay, she Okay, so her bear fell down the well. Okay. So uh, I guess you want me to go. Bye bye, mister. Alright, well, you've got that really creepy specter floating around behind you. Is that what's causing you such distress here? Is that why you're not able to pass on to the next life in case. I, I don't know how you got into purgatory. But if that's the reason that you can't progress, then maybe I can help you. Let's attach a bucket to. Actually, I don't. I really don't have anything to grab the bear with, do I? And I can't store a bucket in my inventory. I've got to find something to grab her bear with. Okay. Well, I, for some reason, that's the most important thing to me right now. Like, of everything else I've been given, helping that poor little girl get her bear back is, is the most important thing. I'll go get a bucket. I don't care about anything else. I know where I can... What, what the... That's like a... Mario question block up there. Yeah, it's kind of crazy looking. There's so much going on here. I can carry the bucket with me. Uh, the mechanic's got buckets. Hey, dude. I need this. I'll be back. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I'll be back with your spring at some point, I suppose. 
Alright, I gotta start writing down all this stuff. Because there's no quest log or anything, and because it's like usually a long time in between sessions that I play, I've got to uh, write some of this stuff down. Make sure I remember it. Alright, I've got me my bucket. Attach. Here's the, here's the thing right there. What? How can I not attach a bucket? That's kind of what wells are made for. Ugh. I'm gonna put the, I'm just gonna put it right here. Because I figure out how to attach it later. What if I dropped anything that I could attach to it? Let me just jump on in. Try something. Bucket. Nothing happens. Um, look, let's look down the well. I don't see anything. Jump. Better not. It's deep, dark, and suicidal. Um, talk. Nothing happens. You just yell into it. I don't let me attach TNT or music to it. Or my watch. Let's put my pants on it. No. Nope. <laughs> Why did I try that? I just took my pants off by that. Well, alright, so it's clear that I can't solve that yet. Uh, I'm serious. I'm going to get my notepad right now and start writing some of this stuff down. Kill Din Korlak. Alright, so, um, Charles. Upriver, get spring for mechanic. Okay. Well, in town, find something to attach. Ghost in hotel now. Have lullaby. All right. Um. Hey, how's it going, dude? Farnley. Huh. Oh, Farnley. Ha! He speaks with a thick accent. Oh. <laughs> That's a thick accent, man. What are you doing around here, Farley? <laughs> what kids? <laughs> Little one, make one hair. All right, Gore and Carrington. What can you tell me about your troubled little child? Never go back here. So happy, free, throwing her women. All right. And what about Gore? Baby. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing around here, Farnley? Oh yeah, we're going to hotel with wife, look after kids. Alright, I'll see you later. This is the hotel. Apparently. Looks okay. Everyone seems here everyone here seems to have ghosts about them. Amber Jill. Hey there, little lady. My name is X. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Oh, pleased to meet you. I'm Amber Jill. Hey, Amber Jill. What are you doing around here? Besides the kids, my job is to keep the bed and breakfast running smooth. My husband helps out. We barely see travelers, though. All right. What about your husband? Your husband with that thick accent. Friday. He's around here somewhere. Yeah, he is. So you get travelers coming through here in purgatory? Feel free to sleep upstairs in the guest room. Okay. It's the off season, so it won't cost you anything. Oh, okay, that's very nice of you. To tell you the truth, I'm just glad to have a visitor. Make yourself at home, really. Okay. Marley's your husband. He's a good enough man. I take good care of him. Well, how do you care for him? <laughs> well, he doesn't know his sleep well. To tell you the truth, I sometimes feel he has a secret. Yeah, maybe he does. I think he's, like, casting a spell on all of you. Finally sleepwalks at night. Worst, he sometimes has night terrors. What kind of terrors are you talking about? I've heard him call out the name Luda many, many times. 
I don't want to embarrass him, so I've never told anyone. Ah. Oh. What about the kids? Well, there's her little girl, Carrington, and then there's her little brother, Gore. What about Gore? Now, there's the apple of my eye. He's such a mischievous little boy. He's always digging in the ground and finding odd things. Sometimes he brings me presents that I can't imagine how he found. Really? What about Carrington? She likes to help me in the kitchen sometimes. Farley adores her. Always losing her toys, that one. Lately she's been crying for her stuffed bear, but I haven't been able to look for it. Oh, sorry, but I haven't had time to look for it. Let's see. Well, the bear's in the well. Can't help you, but try Farley. Maybe he knows something. The bear is in the well. Can't help you, but Friday, maybe he knows something. Ugh. The bear's in the well. <laughs> what do I attach to the well? A ratch? What do I attach to the... Can't help you, but try Friday. Maybe he knows something. Alright, alright. He's got some sort of secret with his past. When Farley and I met, we weren't really... A... We were already adults. He hasn't told me much about his life before he came to Strange. Alright. Well... Type in for it does the same thing. Um, what do you know about those ghosts behind you? What did the game refer to them as? Did it say specters? It didn't say apparitions. It didn't say ghosts. It said there's a. Nice chat with you. Stop in again soon. Well, this is Gore. Gore seems to have spent his energy for the day and is recharging his batteries. A spectre. It did, it did call him specters. A specter hovers ominously behind him, tracking his every move. Somehow, the specter looks a little worn out. There ain't nothing in this here dresser. Carrington is fast asleep. There's an ominous purple specter floating behind her, but she seems unaware. Man, I hope I don't have an ominous purple specter floating behind me in real life. It'd be creepy. Then again, I wouldn't be aware of it, so what is this? There's like, almost no way to know what that is without. Oh, I guess it could be blankets. Yeah, <laughs> never mind. Blanket. Excuse me, ma'am. Your blankets taste like crap. What's this? That's a note. Dear valued guest, we regret to inform you that the rooftop bathing area is temporarily closed due to bath gone missing. We apologize for the inconvenience. Science management. I don't really need to take that now, I'm just knowing what it says. Hey, who are you? That's finally. What is that? Whenever I walk over here, around here, like this little orange thing pops up in this area. Oh, that's her head. <laughs> or his head. A box here. What is this? A clue? Hello. My name is Bonville, and I have discovered something peculiar about this town. It's strange. Although there are a number of wells in this place, and buckets too, there's something utterly missing. Rope. Okay. That makes sense. <laughs> okay. It's because I'm in the context of a video game that I didn't get that. <laughs> I got up to the well, <laughs> and I... I see a point to attach it, and I've got a bucket, and I'm like, why can't I attach this ropeless bucket to this well? <laughs> why can't I lower this bucket down without rope? <laughs> why, why does my magic, which I am accustomed to using in my office work, not useful here? <laughs> oh, 
Why there are wells if the water cannot possibly be drawn? I'll say, sorry, why are there wells if the water cannot possibly be drawn? If I had brought some rope with me, could I attach it and a bucket and draw water? Or perhaps something else? Yes, I get it. I need to find some rope. I think I remember finding rope somewhere. No, I would have taken rope with me. Rope is always useful. 